You already know all things sports and entertainment. So, Young Thug, Slime, Jeffrey. You know, he recently got let out of uh, jail. Uh, I believe he got... They gave him 40 years, but he got to do 20 some years with 15 years probation. You know, like if he violates it, he got to do go back and do the rest. He's been from Atlanta for 10 years, Metro Atlanta. Um, he can't be with no a gang members, ex associated with any gang members or really anybody other than Gunna and his brother and a couple other people, right? Well, a lot of people think that Gunna snitched. I know Lil Baby said something. A couple other people have when Gunna admitted that YSL is a gang when he because he got locked up as well and he got out. But Gunna is also Young Thug's artist. So Young Thug has put out several tweets and uh, one that was very interesting that says, quote, Gunna stop, act stop acting like we friends on the internet. I don't know you, my guy. And then Gunna's brother responds to that and it says, trust and believe the feeling is mutual. Now, honestly, I mean, this could be all entertainment. Uh, I think it's, it's, it's how come he can talk to Gunna, but he can't talk to anybody else. So makes me believe that how serious is it? I know that he did put out a tweet about something about some rats as well, but um, Young Thug with little Baby, but we don't know, we don't know. But I, I will say, this is why it's better just to leave streets alone, you know, and uh, people will tell on you in a minute. You know, they'll tell on you for, for a double cheeseburger. And I'm just, I'm just wondering how their relationship is going to be, because if they don't get along, if Gunna is still locked into hypothetically a four or five album deal, he's at Young Thug's mercy. Now, I've looked at comments and people said that Gunna is the one making making money for Young Thug. So maybe they'll be maybe they'll be all good. You know, maybe they'll keep dissing each other. But every time he drop, he get a percentage like how 50 did with Game and, you know, Young Buck. And, and, and I believe Lloyd Banks, when they dropped that, even though they weren't getting along, every time they dropped the album, he got paid. So I can see this being the same similar situation. But man, Thug, man, he's putting a, in a in a a very serious situation. I mean, the man can't you can't make no mistakes and the next 15 years you can't even come back to metro atlanta unless it's for a non-violent concert you know and then uh you got people out here like little woody walking around free but little woody told on you but now he's a celebrity and it's just funny because people say oh man uh back in my didn't that, back in my day back in my day no people were snitching to look at um frank lucas told on the police nikki barnes told on a lot of people and then he get guy fisher life in jail Rayful Edmonds told, so on and so forth. So, I mean, this is the thing. Alpo told on a lot of people that he came home and was running around Harlem and then didn't nobody do nothing to him. So, it's just, I think people got to understand, man, like somebody like Thug, who was very talented. And even though he came out <laughs> with very controversy uh, images, when he came out, what, 2012-ish? 2011, 2012, you run around wearing dresses and People was asking him questions, but he he wouldn't really give a direct answer, you know, on his uh on what he liked. I'm gonna say that for YouTube, but you know, but he just kept getting. I didn't like Thug's music honestly, but he kept getting better and better and better, and uh, you know, so. But when you when you put a street element to it, you know, the government, the state of Georgia, they want to bring you down. You know, they spent all that money and resources. Kept kept him locked up for two years and then said, "Cool, we'll let you out, but we'll give you 15 years probation." I ain't never heard nothing like 15 years probation. You can't make no must not one mistake in 15 years. And the judge said, "If you make one mistake, you gonna have to come back and see me." No, nah, man, it ain't even worth it, man. But as far as them beefing, who knows? This all might be for promotion. They might mess around, come out with a joint album. But I just want to give my quick thoughts about these tweets. Y'all let me know down below in the comment section. Do y'all think it's real? Do y'all think it's promotion? You know, so, but yeah, let me know what y'all think.